Congress. So here at AUSA this week, we're unveiling to the public for the first time our Bushmaster 50 millimeter chain gun, uh, designated by the Army XM913. It's the gun that's being evaluated by the U.S. Army for their next generation combat vehicle. So everybody is familiar with the Bradley fighting vehicle. It has a 25 millimeter chain gun. Next generation combat vehicle is looking at having a 50, mil 50 millimeter gun capability and will provide them with extended range beyond that which, is which the Bradley fighting vehicle is capable of. We're looking at ranges out past 3,000 meters. Additionally, the much larger 50 millimeter cartridge will provide a lot more lethality, so it'll give the gun a lot more punch. And what's the timeline for it? So right now, we're delivering 30 guns in the next year, and the Army will give that to the different platform providers so that they can integrate that into those vehicles and demonstrate the capability of the gun and the platform as a whole. And the gun's got three types of ammunition, I see? Well, right now we're developing different, a family of ammunition. So obviously there will be a training practice round. There will also be um, an armor piercing round, a high explosive dual purpose type round. People that are familiar with the Bushmaster 3 35 millimeter chain gun uh, will be familiar with this round. It's a 35 millimeter round. The difference between a 35 and a 50 millimeter round is actually just the warhead size. So the, the cartridge cases are exactly the same. And so what will happen with 50 millimeter is that it'll be a full cartridge instead of this neck down version on the 35 millimeter, which will provide a much larger warhead. And that is where the greater lethality comes from. And it's, uh, is it automatically loaded? So the concept right now for integrating this gun into a turret, it'll be an unmanned turret that has ammo boxes inside that feed the weapon. And so soldiers will be able to up, upload additional ammunition if needed while they're under armor.